Hi, I'm Joel from Mindless Brain, and I've made this Mindless Creator. Still at a very early stage, but I've added a few new things to it, so I wanted to demonstrate how to use them. So now, uh, if you've seen the previous videos, you can add masks. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a brick wall um, material, but we're going to use masks to dec decorate the brick wall material. So get our tiling noise, we're just going to X that to remove it. Now to create a brick wall, we need two nodes. The tiled shape list is the first node. This doesn't do anything visually, but it creates a list of um, tiles or shapes, basically, in a sort of in a pattern. It could be a grid, it could be a random pattern, whatever it is. But basically, this allows you to use the same tiled shapes to draw multiple times, basically. And then, if we go draw shapes, this will actually draw the shape. So you can see, this is just a uh, basic brick wall texture. So if I go to tiled shapes and take the padding down a little bit. Maybe I, and that's too much there, let's go. These long bricks, you know, that's, we'll go six, that's not too bad. There we go, so that's, this is changing the actual shape of the tiles. I can do different things like uh, change the border, make it a big border, small border. Um, and I can change the shape. Now, not all these shapes work. Some of them crash. I still have to work out either which ones work and which ones remove the crashing ones or try and figure out why they're crashing and fix it. So if it stops responding to your changes, the best thing to do is just to restart, you know, refresh the, the page and restart. So, but you can use, there's a bunch of ones that you can use. Um, so you can get, there's lots of different different ones there, random polygons, random, random, random box does seem to have problems so I generally avoid that one. You've got um, boxes for example, uh, crosses for example, and a few of these work, um, stars is not too bad, but for bricks obviously box is the way to go, generally, and so now that we've got our shapes looking how we want, then we go to, this is basically drawing, and, draw shapes is basically drawing and decorating the shapes. So the first one is, our gradient's just black to white, that's pretty boring. Let's change the gradient. The only way we can change the gradient right now is by using a reference image. So here's some reference images I've downloaded from the internet. I'll drop one in. I just hold down my left mouse button and drag it across, and you can see it creates a gradient. I'll order the gradient, so it goes from dark to light, and I'll apply it. So now you can see that's applied. But I've got four possible gradients because that gives me four possible brick looks. So I'll choose a second gradient. Let's take that one. Apply now. At the moment, you can't, none of the, none of the um, bricks are using that gradient because the way the gradient is zero. But if I increase it, you can see I'll start to get more and more bricks with that gradient. Just randomly selects roughly. In this case, it should be roughly 50%, but one, two, three, four, five. It's a bit less than 50% at the moment, but anyway. But you can always reduce this one's weight to get more of that gray colored bricks in. Uh, let's take the, I'll order that one and apply it. Go back. Now, some of them will start to have that one, that gradient in them. That's to a dark, a dark brick there. Apply that one. And we'll mix this one in so we'll get a couple of darker bricks in. Just alter the weights to sort of roughly get something that you want. Obviously it's not very similar to my I mean, be able to create the the image similar to the reference image would be what we're aiming for. Obviously, we're a long way from there now. So we've got a pretty boring image of bricks. We can make it a bit more interesting. To start with, it's obviously flat because we do not have a normal map. So let's go get normal and ambient occlusion from heights. So that pretty dramatic normal map there because if you go like you see the colors, normal. And you get the heights now these are quite dramatic uh, the impact of the the sort of noise texturing is quite dramatic and the AO is a bit 
big. But if we want to make that less dramatic, we're going to draw, draw a shape. So we've got the height map multiplier here. So if I take the height map multiplier down, it'll just re re reduce the impact of those, um, the noise you put in on the height map. It's it's a little reduced, it's not dramatic. Also what I wouldn't mind doing is I'll make a mask. Now, there's a bunch more stuff you can do. You can mix in all these noise layers to give you an interesting, interesting starting point. But the other option then is to, now we have the option of adding tile noise, which goes across the whole lot as you can see. What I want with the tile noise though is I'm going to go Uh, I'm not going to use the height map because I just want to mess around with the tile noise. Actually, I will. I will produce a height map, not a diffuse map. So now, if I look here, height map is just. Ah, so the one problem is my tile noise is being applied after the normal map's been built. So the tiling noise is not included in the normal map. So let me drag that back to there. You can see immediately the normal map updates. And that's using the, the tiling noise height map. That's obviously not what we want. We still want the, the um, bricks to come through. So now what we want to do is we want to mix those bricks in. So if I close everything off, let's, let's start with using our mask. So mask one. So the mask will just mask out the areas between the bricks, right? So it won't draw between the bricks. Secondly, let's instead of set, let's go subtract. So now I'm, I'm subtracting my but my my um, FBM noise map from the bricks, which is a bit dramatic. I'm not going to try marble instead. So you see, marble gives us a a couple little cracks and those I think are negative so we probably want to add oh no or maybe it's multiply what's best multiply looks pretty good so you can see how multiply creates all these cracks interesting looking cracks all the way through I can increase the amount of cracking there we go looks a bit like brick brick cracks doesn't it now, um, I wouldn't mind mixing in some diffuse. So this is now mixing in the diffuse. Because most of it's white, the multiplier will just come back. But what we might want to do is we might um, change our colors. And let's uh, grab, let's, let's grab some colors from here and apply. I can't really see much going on there, can I? Let's look at our colour map. It doesn't look like it's being affected that much, does it? Certainly the height map effect you can see. Not sure why the, the diffuse map's not affecting anything, does it? P2P. I guess we can see for sure. Uh, oh, there we go. So that would be pushing those colours that multiply those colours down. Um, So I'm going to set, I'm going to set now, you see what's happened, set has just wiped everything out, obviously I don't want to set, but if I mask off my lower, I oh know it's my upper colours I think I need to mask off, yeah there we go, so I'm just left with the crack areas, so I'm just going to apply those cracks, they almost look like splatters of, of um, mortar that's gone over the top, but anyway, if I go back to my mix, close this off and instead of set let's alpha mix it in now let's do a multiply there we go there we go that's interesting so now we have have bricks with a bunch of cracks all through them not too bad I'm going to soften the crack a little bit just to not make them quite so dramatic. 
So let's look at our AA map. Oh, can't see that much. Normal map, we've got the cracks all the way through. Height map, looking pretty good. And color map, there's our color map, and that's our mask. Well, not the mask should be black and white, really, but anyway, that's about. Works the same. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, I think that not having any mortar is a bit of a problem. We want to put some mortar between these bricks, not have it see through. So, how do we do that? We'll just add another tile noise and we'll bring it just below the normal. Now, we're going to mix it. We're going to mix it. We're going to have the mask, but we're going to invert mask this time. So, we're putting it in the areas that there isn't that are normally transparent. And let's uh, grab the gradient. We'll try and grab some mortar. Mortar. With that. Put that through there. And we'll try to. Firstly, I want to bring the height map down because that height map's far too high. And. And what else do you want to do? Let's turn that up to a seven and seven. So it's a real maybe eight nine and nine. So it's real big. It's a bit too bumpy as you can see. So we'll bring that height map down to flatten out the mortar a bit. And then we have a pretty crappy brick texture material with a colour map, a normal map, a height map, an ambient occlusion map, and you know what, we we could probably do with making it a bit more uh, reflective. It's getting a little shiny, but anyway. How shiny are bricks anyway? Probably not that, quite that shiny. Uh, well, let's make it metallic just for the hell of it. No, let's not do that. All right. Um, I think that the uh, also the make that a bit stronger the normal map, and there we have it. Now you can uh, get if you go to file, you can you've got all the different channels. You click on a channel and you can save it, and you, know, you can you can save uh, the the result all the resulting textures. And take it into Unreal Engine or whatever you want to to use. Um, it's useful just for, to produce interesting noise textures at the moment, if, if that's what you want. And um, you can produce uh, multiple um, sizes of textures as well. There's a drop down here. We can choose a size of texture. All these sizes to choose from, um, and it'll it'll change the um, size of the texture. Okay. That's enough for today. Okay, bye.